all right everybody welcome back to another video another character design speed draw whatever the fuck I, I know it's been about a year or two since i last posted but i really don't give a uh, anyways uh, you know we're just gonna we're just gonna act like i i uh, just was consistent and never stopped posting since that period of time uh you know and welcome to another video uh this video we're doing a character design for this uh comic i have i've been uh, working on a series i've been developing uh for a while now uh which is where i've been actually i've been working on some things not just that one comic but a few other ideas and stories and whatnot uh and today we're working on a character from uh one of the main antagonists from my upcoming comic uh called johnny bacon uh off rip i started doing uh a design like another look for him uh as you can see you can see the other uh the more uh official ones that i, I kind of went went uh but I'm, i was just trying something different here just going for a different look seeing what i can come up with i didn't i didn't end up going with it because i didn't really like it that much uh it looked a little too ugly for me it looked, looked like the wrong kind of i needed them to look ugly but not not like that no, I, just, I didn't i didn't like it so i got rid of it so i figured i just went with one of the designs i already had and finalize it and you know kind of just yeah just finalize it just uh, do the line work and color it in and go with that so that's what you're seeing here now um right now i'm kind of working on his aura you know um his aura is i thought i'd go for like uh you know well let me let me explain um this is the the shadow man one of the main antagonists and uh he uses uh corruption as one of his abilities as uh you know it's an energy that he uses corruption and so that kind of plays into the effect of his aura you know everybody has a different or in this universe, um, there's different energies as well. There's Metaphys energy, which is the universal energy, is the main one that, you know, main power source that people use. Uh, then you have Deimos, which is would be like a demonic energy, which is the opposite of that. And then you have Corruption, which is something he uses specifically. Uh, so far, he's one of the only characters, the only characters that, that uses Corruption. Uh, it's, he's supposed to be more of a um, mysterious, unknown character. Um, and so is corruption as well. It's a very unknown element, energy, whatever, uh, whatever you want to call it. And so uh, he's, he's, he's very, it's going to be very, you know, nasty, very just unknown, very unpredictable kind of, uh, kind of nature to it. It's going to have that, um, you know, as you can see his aura is very, it looks kind of like a virus, looks kind of like, uh, like, uh, like veins and like an eye whatever i thought i'd give it like this like pulsy kind of you know visceral look to it kind of fits this character fits the vibe it, you know it's his aura so you know his aura you know would be the manifestation of the energy and you know his personality and everything about him that you know he uses and, and everything that he's about so his aura has to match him in, in some way shape or form um, you know, as you can see right here you know i have some of the some of the words just kind of it, it kind of floats around them and, and shoots out kind of like tendrils it, it's it, it kind of you know goes around also it's not you know uh, that's the thing about auras you know they're all different and they all act different and they all move different you know his is his aura kind of it just it, it the way it forms it, it spawns and it shoots out and it moves around like veins and it only goes around certain parts of his body and you know the specific parts in which he's using the whatever you know ability that he has and that he wants to use in that moment um you know he uses uh that, that's a it's another drawing for another thing for another video that i'll be doing i got a little sneak peek at that but uh yeah as i was saying um you know it's, it's his aura it's like whatever part body part he's using or whatever part of him he's using for that ability uh, is where the aura would show up on him
All right, and then you can see here um, his shadow, which is a big a surprise, surprise. It's a big, uh, it's one of the major abilities that he has. Is he utilizes his shadow a lot in dark, surf, dark, uh, you know, things and surfaces or whatever. It just bends light and messes with light in an interesting way. Uh, you can see his aura kind of attaching to that uh, that shadow right there. You're gonna see how it he, he utilizes uh, his shadow in the second era when I draw the other part. But you know, you can see it's coming down his legs. It's kind of dripping like blood all over him and dripping down to the shadow and you know, kind of reaching out. You know, I thought I'd give it like a, I don't know this this vibe. I don't, I don't know. It, it kind of has like this look to it that I really like. I thought that would be really cool and interesting to see um you know i thought it'd be different it's not much not something you really see often especially you know when it, so it comes to like having an aura and having abilities you know i, I thought I'd, I'd really give him like this just a different look and, and feel to him you know it's very very horror inspired actually um i was inspired by you know mini horde i love horror so you know i i, I chose a couple of things one major inspiration for this design right here specifically for him this look specifically will be um texas chainsaw leatherface actually um you know kind of give him this old look to him this very grungy dirty uh it's old fashioned just out back just just this uh this this south kind of dusty kind of just just look like this 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 uh this um how do i describe it kind of yeah just like leatherface just uh he just has this presence to him he has this look to him he has this, this feel to him that he's just uh he's like not really like all washed up and chewed up he's 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 uh he's very yeah he's he's very he's very just uh different <laughs> you know um I wanted that kind of look to him. If you ever seen Leatherface, uh, you know, basically like that. And then uh, a few other things I was, was just going for, just basically just like this creepy, weird, kind of just nasty, you know, just kind of look to him that I like. You know, I thought I could, you know, because the one thing I really want to incorporate with this series is horror a bit, you know, especially because it's dealing with demons and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll explain now. Uh, While well, I'm at it, I should have did that off rip, but you know, get we here. Uh, Johnny Bacon is a series uh, uh, about, I mean, really just about about um this guy, the main character, Johnny Bacon. You know, he's his abilities uh, is uh, he summons rockets. He can summon them from anywhere. He can summon them from his hands. He can summon them from the ground, the sky. Uh, just out of nowhere in places you wouldn't expect he could summon a rocket basically and you know various types of explosions he could you know he could summon oh well, I, don't, I don't i don't wanna you know he could summon rockets basically um and then he also has a shotgun that has infinite ammo um different various types of ammo as well uh you know i'll get i'll get more into him and what he can do later when i when i do a video on him and the other characters that include him, you know, uh, basically he goes on adventures, um, you know, uh, killing demons, hunting down people, uh, bounty hunting, you know, all, all, all types of things, you know, uh, and, and this is one of the guys that he's, uh, that he has to take out, which is a shadow man, which will be one of his, you know, his, his toughest opponents, I guess. Yeah. is one of his uh, toughest opponents yet. That he will face which will be a little bit into the series you know not not too soon not too far away but you know it'll it'll it'll, it'll, it'll show up um you know uh you know there's a couple main characters you got johnny you got jag you got zaikari you got yameta you got cisco they they're basically uh the rest of them besides johnny they they work for this company called omnit which is uh you know they they investigate you know anomalies uh they investigate demons paranormal anything out of the ordinary they they you know they deal with um you know within the universe and they travel to different galaxies different dimensions they use portals they deal with magic they deal with 
you know, energies and elements and, you know, all out of the ordinary stuff, you know, basically they, you know, they hunt down demons, they, they deal with entities, they deal with uh, ghosts, they deal with spirits, they deal with, you know, different uh, demons and, and, you know, other people, regular, I wouldn't say human, humans, humanoid type people, just regular people with, um, you know, abilities and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's what they'll, you know, uh, yeah, basically they do all, all types of stuff. It's, uh, they get, they get into wild, crazy adventures, you know, they, they start off with something and it turns into something you wouldn't expect, you know, out of nowhere, they'll just start off could be something as simple as uh Johnny just wanted to go to the store to get a little thing, get a little drink or whatever, and then now now he's over here hunting down several demons or like a, a mafia or something. And it's a whole adventure on its own, you know. He's he's dealing with his friend, he's he's there there. You gotta go through a whole 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 thing, whole process, you know. Um But anyways, back to the Shadow Man. You know, as you can see, again, as 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 I am gonna explain now, that's you know, what's going on with the shadow here. He could trap people into his shadow. Um, you know, he could, and 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 that's what I really want to get more into. You know, I'm still kind of working out things and concepting things as I go. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to get, I don't I don't want to iron out too many details. So I, I I like to you know kind of freestyle and be spontaneous and creative with things as I go. Um, but I also like to have stuff planned out and, you know, with him, I, I kind of want to have a good balance of both. I want to really like, you know, plan stuff out, but in, in, you know, you know, have like stuff still be like off the wall out of nowhere, you know, kind of keep you guessing as to what he could do. Kinda, you know, it's right there. He can manipulate his shadow. He can do way more than just, you know, trap people in it and corrupt them and twist them and warp them and distort things you know which is what he does he has an effect on stuff he can corrupt things you know he uses corruption which is what he does and you know i think that'll be a great transition into you know a little bit of a backstory that i want to you know share just to just to introduce and you know give you a feel of what his vibe is you know um i don't want to give exactly what everything he could do but just you know just give a little bit of you know what he is so the shadow man formerly known as was a normal man living a normal life he was a salesman who sold all various types of strange items and objects rare objects he would travel in his truck moving from town to town trying to make a dollar one day he was traveling on a special unknown road called west route 89 the special road intersects with a major road as well as another place called the Crossroads. One day the Shadow Man was out on his routine of selling strange and rare items and stopped at a gas station. This particular gas station seemed pretty, you know, ordinary and innocent. So he parked and got his gas, but was then approached by an eerie figure. Just as he was about to leave, the figure said, So you're a salesman, right? Shadow Man replied, How did you know? Right, name's Dev. Nice to meet you. Figure placed his hand, placed his hand out for a handshake, and the Shadow Man reluctantly obliged. Dev then continued on saying, Hey, you know, there's a quicker route just down the road. Uh, it'll get you to all the places you need. All the places just right for you. You see that road down there? You take that road, and you'll get to all the places with all the big opportunity and big money. I promise you. Shadowman replied and said, no, no thanks. I'll just take the usual. I mean, you're already off on your usual route as you go. Well. You might as well. Listen, just take the road and I promise you won't regret it. The man gives Shadowman a smile waiting for him to agree. Knowing he really needs the money, Shadowman decides to take the road. Going down the road, Shadowman notices some weird occurrences and changes along the way. He shrugs it off and continues driving. A little bit down the road, Shadowman sees a man from the gas station standing out in the middle of nowhere, staring at him, smiling. He gives Shadowman a thumbs up before disappearing into the dusty wind. Shadowman gives a concerned look on his face, coupled by fear. 
and before he notices he's come up on the crossroads, he slows down. As he comes to a slow stop, the wind picks up. Something inside him tells him to get out of his car and walk forward. Chinaman reaches the center of the crossroads and the winds surround him, turning into a tornado. The sky crackles, sending lightning onto the ground. Chinaman looks all around, not being able to make out his environment. He coughs as debris fill up his lungs. He walks forward through the winds, pushing his way through. As he walks, he feels his skin start to ripple and tear slightly. Wrinkles form. His hair grows longer and clumps fall out. His arms elongate and twist, breaking and rebuilding. His clothes damaged. He falls to the ground as he can't take anymore. Darkness ensues. Everything stops, fades into black. SM wakes up and looks around. Pure whiteness is his new environment. What? Confusion and fear swarms his head as he doesn't realize that he has now entered the twilight zone. <laughs> as he is now <laughs> settlement is has now entered limbo and is stuck there. He gets up and tries to find a way out, but there is no place to go. Just a white void. Shadowman screams out in agony as black food spurts out of his mouth. He twists and contorts around as two major elements form into the environment. A deep, intimidating, blaring voice calls out to Shadowman as he fully transforms. The two elements mix together and form something strange. A black goo forms and shapes into a mythical creature. This creature looks at Shadowman into his soul and enters it, grabbing him by the shoulders and launching itself into him. Shadowman stumbles back and lets out yet another scream of terror and agony. This is the worst pain he has ever felt in his life. He didn't even know pain like this could ever exist. His veins puff up to his skin and turn black. His body, further transforming, is finally done. The transformation is complete. The man who once was is no longer. Years, decades upon decades, pass, and it is unknown exactly how long Shadow Man has been stuck in the mud. One day at the crossroads, a portal opens up, and clouds swirl. The environment grows unstable, and a figure appears at a bus stop in the middle of it. When this figure appears, his immediate surroundings corrupt. Things decompose and warp. Black goo travel in the shape of roots onto the ground. A man is driving when he sees the destruction. He tries to speed up when he notices a strange figure. The figure's shadow casts and zips right to his car, stopping in his tracks. The man in the car looks out his window for the figure, but he's gone. Fear overcomes the man as he looks down at his tires and notices his shadow has a hold on the car. He tries to drive away, but Car won't budge. He screams and shouts until he's frozen in fear. When the figure reappears out of the shadow, the figure stands tall, about nine feet tall, and smiles at the man. Everything just stands still for a second. The wind blows. The figure knocks on the window and sinks down into the shadow fast. He sinks down just enough to be at the window's height. Are you here for big opportunities? A black goo arm then creeps up behind the man's neck from inside the car, grabbing him and snatching him out of the car. The window shatters as the hand brings him out. The figure, now a few feet away, is turned around, looking off into the distance. His back turned towards the man as the hand drags the man, driving his face into the ground as it brings him towards the shadow man's way. The man screams as he gets closer. The shadow man's back opens up and a huge mouth appears and smiles at the man. Then the shadow man's head twists, does a whole 180 and looks at the man and waves. The man gets devoured. The shadow man wipes the dust off and walks away. The man who once was is no longer and is now the shadow man.
well uh that was the shadow man hope you enjoyed character design as well as that little short story uh just kind of wanted to do an introduction to the character and uh you know into the world of johnny bacon uh, i thought you know starting with him is one of the most thought i should start with him since he's one of the most you know more interesting characters of the universe you know to me you know i think he's one of the more interesting you know uh, you know, based on his abilities, his look, how he moves, how he acts, you know, it's just, just a little taste. I just want to do a little taste for now, you know, just kind of give you a little bit of a feel of how he is and how he acts, you know, with, uh, with his you know, environment and story and other characters and other people. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought, you know, starting with him, you know, would be a good idea. You know, he's one of the more interesting characters, you know, especially since he's like a horror inspired character. You know, I really love horror and I like working on that kind of stuff. So I you know, wanted to hurry up and get him out. But yeah, you know, I, again, you know, it's been mad long since I posted and really worked on anything. You know, I've been working on stuff, developing certain things, doing other things. I've been preoccupied with certain things, you know, my job and you know, other art stuff and other, you know, ventures I've been working on these past you think also just developing as an artist stuff like that you know I've, I've been wanting to do like a whole rebrand and stuff and change the whole image uh, certain things i want to go about now you know certain way i want to go about things and you know how i want to move forward for you know this whole image and uh you know kind of way of presenting things and this aesthetic and branding for things you know that i really want to go about i got got big plans big ideas i want to really work on and polish and you know just make good for the channel you know and really get out there like i said i'm working on another video which will be kind of on similar type characters but will be on characters that you'll see very soon you know again i'm working on a one shot so and the next video will be on characters for that one shot which will come out sometime soon i want to publish it on I, I don't know where i want to publish it yet most likely webtoon or something like that you know that's where i want to put it on and i want to do a whole thing for that as well so you know be on the lookout for that you know again i got a few ideas that i'm planning on on. I don't want to speak too much on it, but certain things I want to get out there and I think it'll be really cool. Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. And yeah, man, just uh, I just want to get back into it, get back into that groove. It's, it's that time again, you know. And this time I really want to stay on that time and really get stuff out. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see y'all next time. The anticipating grip, the man here, there's no fear, came through with no tears, I don't cry, matter of fact, I don't lie like a bedside, they tell the truth, then I tell you what it is, what it ain't, please roll me up another dank, another smoke, so I see it as the antidote to cure my daily anecdotes, I see my thoughts as adios, finito, I get New Jersey's like I was a guido, the ego, gotta be vetoed if you want a free throw, the evil, stay with the scripture, what your mama read you, you gotta build the game, Son, I couldn't battle feed you This next bar was about to do some logic shit But now I gotta stop this shit and let me pop my shit Drama still added up